Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nurmal here, and in this video, we're gonna compare two budget offerings: the Asus Zenfone uh, Max Pro M1 with the Honor 9 Lite. So these two phones are priced below the 15k price tag band down, and we have the 3 gigabyte RAM of uh, the these two devices priced exactly the same, the 10 triple nine pricing. And uh, in this video, we'll analyze uh, different aspects of these two devices to see which is the better device out of these two phones in the budget segment. So let's get started. So first up, let's have a look at the design and build quality of these two devices. So looking at the design aspect, you can see that uh, the Honor 9 Lite uh, is the better looking device out there with glass finishing and uh, feels uh, a bit more premium uh, with the glass finish on the back panel and the camera unit and the overall form factor also feels quite good. Uh, it has a 5.65 inches uh, display while we have a 6 inch display on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. So if you're looking for a compact device with lightweight uh, design and uh, a bit more premium uh, looking smartphone, the Honor 9 Lite makes sense. But if you're okay with uh, larger displays and uh, uh, a bigger uh, screen, uh, then uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 looks uh, good because uh, uh, there is a considerable difference in size and also weight on these two devices. Now looking at the build quality, again uh, both these devices have a quite good build quality. Again we would choose the Honor 9 Lite because of the glass finishing and overall fit and finish uh, looks a bit more premium. So that's the design and build quality. Now next up let's talk about the displays. So we have two different uh, display sizes, the 6 inch uh, display on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 while we have a 5.65 inch screen size uh, on the uh, Honor 9 Lite. Now both these devices have 2.5D glass uh, and uh, overall the display quality looks pretty good on both the phones. The viewing angles are also quite good. The brightness levels are tad better on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 and neither of these devices offer any protection on the display. So display again uh, quite similar but uh, if you're looking for larger displays the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with a larger 5.99 inches display and better brightness levels uh, uh, is slightly better here. Now next up let's talk about the software. So we have uh, two different uh, UIs. So we have the stock Android on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 and uh, you can see this is stock UI with Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box while we have Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box and with uh, that we have this uh, uh, custom UI called EMUI 8.0 so both these devices are completely different in terms of the UI performance so if you want a lot of features uh, including uh, theme support uh, then uh, uh, double tap to wake and a uh, lot of gestures uh, supported uh, including dual app support uh, so things like that they are, uh, if that are, that is your priority then go for the EMUI because it offers a plethora of modes and options to choose while uh, if you are a person who likes uh, stock Android and want the simple UI then uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 makes sense and also the Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, has the advantage that uh, uh, it will be getting two rounds of major upgrade updates that is Android P and Android Q whatever the name uh, will be will be available for the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 but uh, for the uh, Honor 9 Lite we don't really see any major updates coming up uh, for this device uh, apart from the EMUI so that's the uh, the software aspect so our choice probably would be uh, to go with the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 because uh, update cycles are important and uh, ASUS is providing two rounds of major updates that is a definitely a highlight of uh, the Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now talking about the performance, so we have uh, the Snapdragon 636 Octa-Core chipset on the uh, ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with uh, either 3 or 4 GB RAM and 32 and 64 GB storage while we have the Kirin 659 Octa-Core chipset uh, with either 3 or 4 GB RAM and 32 and 64 GB storage. Now talking about the performance, uh, the Kirin 659 is a good chipset all around, good decent performance all around without any sort of issues but uh, looking at the Snapdragon 636, uh, it's one of the really powerful chipset in this segment and uh, it easily beats the 630 i mean the kirin 659 in terms of the raw performance and also uh, the gaming performance is really good on the snapdragon 636 while uh, on the kirin 659 there is an issue with uh, the mali chip mali gpu so if you are a person who looks uh, for gaming experience and outright degree performance then uh, the asus zenfone max pro m1 makes the better choice because uh, the snapdragon 636 is a really powerful chipset when compared to this kirin 659 and uh, both these devices have uh, a dual sim cards for glt and volte support and on top of that we have a dedicated uh, sd card slot on the uh, asus zenfone max pro m1 and also it comes with dual volte support so those are the advantages now the fingerprint scanner performance is quite similar on both the phones we'll just uh, quickly have a demo here so it is slightly faster on the asus Zen, uh, i mean uh, the honor 9 Lite but not my considerable margin uh, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, has a quite a decent uh, fingerprint scanner it may not be the fastest though 
Now next up the camera. So we have a dual camera setup on the rear panel on both these devices while we have a dual camera on the front panel on the Honor 9 Lite. Now on the dual camera we have a 13 and 5 megapixel camera combination on uh, uh, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 while we have 13 and 2 megapixel camera combination on the 9 Lite. On the front panel we have a 6, uh, 8 megapixel shooter on the uh, Zenfone Max Pro M1 while we have a, a 13 and 2 megapixel combination on the Honor 9 Lite. Now looking at the camera samples taken with these two devices, you can see that the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 has a vivid and uh, uh, richer colors while uh, uh, the colors on the Honor 9 Lite uh, feels a bit uh, uh, washed out at, at times but not all the time but uh, the, if you are looking for brighter and richer colors then uh, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 makes a better choice and the sharpness levels are also tad better on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now in terms of low light performance quite similar performance and neither of these devices are strong in terms of the low light performance so uh, if you are a person who uh, is looking at a, a better a low light performance then uh, neither of these devices makes a, a great choice because uh, the low light performance is kind of average on both these devices. Now finally the selfie experience, so this one area we feel uh, the Honor 9 Lite has an advantage with a dual camera setup, it performs slightly better than the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. Uh, the ASUS has to work on uh, the sel uh, selfie experience on the Max Pro M1. So that was the camera aspect, now finally talking about the battery. So here we have a clear winner, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 uh, comes with 5000 mAh capacity battery while we have 3000 mAh capacity battery on the Honor 9 Lite. Neither of these devices have any sort of fast charging supported. So uh, battery department, uh, the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 is a clear winner with additional 2000 mAh capacity battery. So now summing up, so which is a better device to buy here? So uh, if you're not really worried about the looks, our suggestion would be to go with the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 because it, because it has a software which is really good, uh, two major updates are promised, a great performance, excellent gaming, excellent battery performance and above average camera performance and uh, great value for money uh, with the Snapdragon 636. But Honor 9 Lite is a good uh, device in this price segment, uh, decent value for money experience but uh, if you are into gaming and uh, heavy multitasking, the Kirin 659 is not really a powerful chipset when compared to the Snapdragon 636 and also it has smaller capacity battery and uh, update cycles are kind of uh, not that great for Honor devices. So out of these two devices, uh, our personal choice would be the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So that was the detailed comparison of the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 with the um, Honor 9 Lite. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.